Hey gang, the other day I spent 90 minutes digging through records at an antique store and found pretty much nothing. I'm going to the front of the store with three lousy records, and out of the corner of my eye I see something crazy. Get it? Crazy! Hello, and welcome to the 78 RPM channel. Whether you're new to 78s or an advanced collector, this is your source for information, research, and music about 78 RPM records, cylinders, and radio transcriptions. Hey gang, welcome to the 78 RPM channel. Now I know what you're asking. What are crazy water crystals, and what do they have to do with records? Uh, the first question is a little bit easier to answer. Uh, crazy water crystals are the mineral deposits left behind when the water from Mineral Wells, Texas evaporates. Basically, they were selling the white crusty stuff that ruined your sink. In addition, they built a gigantic hotel that allowed people with more money than you or I to visit Mineral Wells, Texas and soak in that water for medicinal reasons. Now what does this box of crazy water crystals have to do with records? A little more complicated, but I can answer that one. More specifically, they have something to do with radio from the 1930s. If you're aware of radio in the 1930s, pretty much everything was sponsored, and smaller companies would put their ads on radio shows. Big companies would make their own radio shows. In the 1930s, Crazy Water Crystals had no fewer than 11 different radio shows. Interestingly enough, the opening and closing bumper for those radio shows mentioned the following. Hello everyone, you're listening to Music from Texas, featuring Jack Anlong and his Crazy Water Hotel Orchestra over special wire from the lobby of the Crazy Water Hotel in Mineral Wells, Texas. For 57 years, the sick and suffering... Now, while these shows may have been broadcast over a special wire, the reason that they're on the 78 RPM channel is this. Physical copies of these shows do exist, and some of them were recorded onto instantaneous metal-based lacquer discs, but some were actually recorded, pressed, and distributed on shellac discs. That means that these shows were recorded, plated, stampers were made, and actual copies were pressed. Now, how many copies of these records still exist? That's pretty tough to determine. There aren't a lot out there. Researcher Maristella Fustel from the University of North Texas did some research, and I believe she found copies of 13 different programs, at least in whole or in part. The Crazy Water Hotel show was actually recorded in the lobby of the Crazy Water Hotel, and it contained all different kinds of music. It contained country slash hillbilly music. It contained some dance band stuff. It it even contained audience sing-alongs, kind of like this one. Something tells me we're going to have a lot of fun right now. We've chosen as our lobby song today the song Constantinople. You know, C-O-N-S-T-A-N-T-I-N-O-P-L-E. Well, that's the song. And Professor Jack Amlong's going to take charge of the spelling class now. And everybody spell it right out loud. Now, although this show is not remembered like the Louisiana Hayride, the National Barn Dance, or the Grand Ole Opry, this show served to expose listeners to types of music that they were not normally exposed to, and subsequently it led to the expansion of the hillbilly slash country music influence across the United States. Unfortunately, the Crazy Water Hotel Empire kind of dissolved in the 1940s. They ran afoul of the Federal Trade Commission, who apparently thought that crazy water might not be the cure for every single ailment that you could possibly have. And from that point on, crazy water not only really didn't do radio shows, but they were required to advertise their water as, well, water. While they could no longer make claims about the health benefits of crazy water, they could still sell crazy water, I guess. And they actually still do. You can go to the store right now, if you're at the right store, and purchase Crazy Water. While Crazy Water itself is still going strong, most of their radio content has unfortunately been lost to time. 
I hope you enjoyed this look at the Crazy Water Hotel World and the records that go along with it. Much of the research for this was done by Maristella Fustel from the University of North Texas. I mentioned her before. She presented a lecture at the Association for Recorded Sound Collections Conference, and I want to get this right, 2019, entitled Mapping the Crazy Water Empire. And I only mention that to mention this. If you are not a member of the Association for Recorded Sound Collections, you probably should consider it, especially if you like 78 RPM records and vintage audio. Now, I'm in no way being compensated for this, but I will tell you one thing. Simply having a membership gives you access to mountains of old research and old lectures. That, in and of itself, is completely worth the cost of joining ARSC. If you're interested in joining ARSC, go to arsc-audio.org for more information. Tell them I said hi. As for you 78 RPM collectors, keep looking for fun go-with items like this box of crazy water crystals and Specifically, keep looking for those pretty tough to find Crazy Water Hotel shows. They are out there. And once you find one, check at the University of North Texas and see if they have it archived or not. I'm going to find a really cool spot on the shelf for this because records can be really hard to display, but fun stuff like this looks great. We'll see you next time on the 78 RPM channel.